What's going on everybody, TG here, back with another video. And we have to talk about ARK Innovation ETF because the stock, or ETF itself, is now down over 33% from its highs. As you guys can clearly see here, February 12th, the stock was trading at about $157 a share. It is now trading at $102 a share. That is a 35% decline from its highs. Now, a lot of questions have been asked about ARK and their fundamentals and you know all of the the strategy and investment strategy that Kathy Wood uses um, to manage her ETF of Ark, and it's very interesting what she does. She is an active investor, which means every day she's trading, and every day you can see these trades if you subscribe to their email. They'll go ahead and send you stuff. So this is from yesterday because uh, today's hasn't come out yet. It usually comes out around um, like seven or so at night, uh, and, and last case was uh, nine eighteen at night. Uh, but you can see all the things she buys. So just yesterday alone, she she did over 59 different transactions. She she bought a bunch of Coinbase. Um, you know, she bought a ton of PLTR, 2.1 million more shares of PLTR, more Roku, more Spotify, more more Shopify. Just a ton of buying. Um, and then obviously you see the things that she sells and all that stuff like that. Um, so it's a very active, even more Palantir. Holy crap. Um, very active investment fund. You can see her top holdings. You can see right here. Tesla takes up, obviously, the majority. Over 10% of the entire fund is just Tesla. 6.2% is Teladoc. 5.4 is Roku. 4.6 is Square. 3.9 Shopify. 3.72 Zoom. 3.5 Zillio. 3.5 Spotify. 3.32 Coinbase and 3.3 Twilio. The rest are smaller holdings, um, but obviously you can see all of this on the website, and it'll show. You know everything that they hold and all that good stuff shows the returns very very cool um obviously you have, to, you have to pay a small fee to be in this so you're going to lose a little bit on the fee every year but it's not that that much um you know 0.75 percent so you make a hundred thousand dollars you're giving 750 dollars back to the etf um for the fees or expenses as they call them but you know, Arc is Arc has been taking a beating because obviously you guys know tech has just been continuing to take massive beatings, um, just over and over. You know, the the Nasdaq itself is now down eight percent from highs. Um, you have major companies like Apple uh, down significantly from highs. You know, Apple is trading at one hundred and forty five dollars a share at one point and is now down sixteen percent from those highs. And Apple is the biggest company in the world. And it's almost under, going to drop under a $2 trillion market cap if it goes down again tomorrow. PE super low at 27.5. I think it's an amazing opportunity. I think a lot of these are. But you know, I really want to focus on ARK and you know some of their holdings because some of the holdings I really like. You know, Obviously, you have um, you know her main one, Tesla, that just made her so much money. Uh, but Tesla has been, been taking a beating recently because it's one of those very high multiple stocks. As you guys know, I mean, the, the PE is... Is still very very high as 600 PE ratio. Um, so as inflation goes up, those those stocks really take a massive hit, and that's why it was down 4.42 percent today. Um, and you know I don't know the future of it honestly. A lot of people are saying that Tesla is going to basically hover around this area for a long time because it's already baked in. Hence why the PE is so high because um, this market cap is still 570 billion. And um, you know, last year they only made 721 million. So, you know, it's hard. It's hard to justify prices that high. I'm not saying that it is, but um, it's especially as interest rates rise and inflation, it's really going to take a big hit on companies like Tesla. You know, another company that they have is Teladoc. Um, that's their second biggest holding, and Teladoc is very interesting on in what they're doing and how they're trying to revolutionize. You know, telemedicine, and I made a video about that. If you guys are you guys are interested in seeing it. But essentially, you know what we're seeing with this is uh, Teladoc has a lot of competition, especially from Amazon. You know, Amazon's trying to do their own thing, and it's really hard to go up against Amazon because you know it's, Amazon's the third biggest company, sometimes second biggest company in the world, and they beat stocks like that down. They beat companies to a pulp who try to go against them, and you know Teladoc's off a lot on its highs. Um, I want to see exactly it's about yeah. You know, it's down over half its value, 52.2% uh, from 308. So this isn't even showing, this is only showing 292. So it's actually about 55% from its highs. Um, so literally the stock has been cut in half. Uh, and, you, you know, it's it's just getting a beating. Roku, I really like Roku. I think Roku is the future. Really like Roku, really like Square. 
Um, I think these, honestly, these are my two favorite holdings that she has. Honestly, I, I think both of these companies are absolutely amazing. Yeah, they're trading at a very high valuation right now, but I think these companies are amazing. Um, Shopify, I don't like. I'm going to be honest, I don't like Shopify. Shopify, again, is trying to take on Amazon, and I don't see them doing a good job. Uh, it's really hard to go against Amazon, and I, they, again, they are down 26.5% from highs. Um, but they traded a very high PE ratio as well of 84. And, um, you know, they, they don't do a ton. They don't do a ton of revenue um, or profit, you know, compared to what they're valued at. You know, they did $1.26 billion last quarter. And they're valued at $134 billion. So it's, obviously it's a little high, but I just don't like the fact that they're taking on, you know, Amazon and, you know, some of those other ones. So it's going to be pretty difficult. Um, moving on, Zoom. I'm not a huge fan of Zoom, honestly. I, I, I really think that when this pandemic is over a year, a year or two after, I mean, there's going to be no reason to use Zoom much anymore. Yeah, obviously some people will still use it, but, you know, to be valued at $85 billion, I just don't know, uh, especially when you're really not making that much either, only $260 million last quarter. Um, you know, in the entire year, only making 673 or 672 and that's in a pandemic. I don't know. I, I just don't see it. It, it holding up long term um, I, I really don't but you know obviously it could happen these things can happen but it's gonna be very difficult to uh, to do that to see that um, Zillow's solid I really like Zillow um, they're helping with like selling houses and stuff amazing Spotify same thing music I think that's great they are taking on Apple but um, Spotify has proven its name so I think they're amazing um, Coinbase I don't like Coinbase at all I'm gonna be honest because Right now, yes, Coinbase is amazing. I think it's amazing. But long-term speaking, even in the short term, competition can destroy this. You guys remember seeing this with Robinhood. The 99% of Coinbase's revenue, so let's look at their earnings, 99% of this is coming from fees. If a brokerage comes out and makes zero commission crypto, Coinbase is done. Coinbase is valued at fifty-six billion. They're going to be less than two billion, um, two billion dollars of a company if that happens. That is extremely. Yeah, analysts are even saying sixty-five percent skid as competition picks up, and that's true. This company will die out if competition picks up. So I don't like it. I, I really don't like it. I think right now it's great, but going in the future, no. And then Twilio is super solid as well. So. Of the top 10 holdings, I really like Roku, I really like Square, I really like Zillow, and I really like Spotify and Twilo. So about half, about half their holdings I like. Um, but it's not about me, it's about what the market thinks. And um, the market has not liked, you know, this this approach of selling, selling, you know, quality big tech names like she has to buy, you know, Coinbase and stuff like that. I just don't, I don't know about that. Or buying more Tesla at these at these prices. I mean, I, I don't understand that either. I don't think that's a good idea. Um, but I mean, hey, she's she's obviously done very well over the years, as you guys can probably see. You know, this funds up an insane amount from when it debuted. Um, so you can't complain about that. Um, but obviously, this year has been this year has been rough. You know, year to date, um, it's down about about twenty percent. So, you know, we're gonna have to see what happens. But overall. Um, you know, it's, I wouldn't, I think if you want to invest in companies like that, pick individual ones, you know, pick, pick just real cool. You pick just square. It's really hard to, to jump into all of these, especially when there's a lot of companies you don't like in there. So I would pick, I would, I would personally go into certain ones that I like, you know, Roku, Square, Spotify, Twilio, Zillio, Rhymes. Um, but that's what I'd be doing. You know, I wouldn't be just buying an entire ETF. We're also paying a 7.75% expense fee as well. I just don't think it's worth it, to be honest. Um, you're better off just investing it on your own. But I don't know. That's just my thoughts. That's my philosophy. You guys let me know what you think. But uh, yeah, it's it's been a long day. I'm extremely tired. But I'd like to make the videos for you guys because I like having you guys happy. Um, so yeah, guys, let me know what your thoughts are on all this. Hop in the Discord. Say what's up. I'd love to talk with you guys. And um, yeah, just have a wonderful, wonderful day. And, you know, hopefully the markets are going to recover soon because uh, right now it has not been looking good. 
Um, but we got Baba earnings tomorrow. We got we got a big Baba earnings tomorrow, uh, and I'm expecting some really good things. I'd love to see this thing at about 2:40 tomorrow. So, you know, we're gonna see tomorrow about 4 a.m. It's gonna happen, uh, and we're gonna we're gonna have to go ahead and see what happens. But anyways, guys, have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful day. Um, she up six percent today. That's insane in the Hong Kong market. And then uh, yeah, we'll see what happens, guys. Love you guys. Take it easy. Have a wonderful day. Bye.